he's losing everything. He's a bit stressed today. He can't find anything. He found something. Some days are just like that. The work just doesn't get done. Two days after we got married, Carla suggested we sell everything, buy a boat and set sail. A year later we did just that. In the Canaries, we picked up our naked sailor, Dobby. This is our adventure. Welcome to week 17. Yep, week 17. How exciting is that? 16 weeks down. <laughs> <laughs> and six weeks to Christmas to yeah, finish the boat. Yeah, so... Uh, Roughly. <laughs> it's all go. Uh, big week this week. Um, we're going to finish putting the kitchen in, yeah. uh, which hopefully... I don't think we're going to get it totally finished because I think we're missing some parts, like a fridge and a freezer, for example. But we're going to get it nearly there, just a few little finishes. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to try and get the pilot house roof done. Yes, yeah, the ceiling. The yeah. ceiling. Yeah. Get the ceiling paint uh, installed. That. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to finish painting the rail to go in the back, so we can put that in. Oh, maybe, yeah, can we? we can. Yeah. And the ceiling in the. Uh, and finishing the ceiling on the front cabin. So that'll be another job done. So, uh, so there has been a lot of few bits to finish too, yeah, uh, together with the big jobs. Isn't yeah, it? yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So it's all getting rather exciting, and we're going to put the uh, uh, cabinets in to hold the lithium um, uh, battery bank, which is. Uh, getting quite exciting. So yeah. we'll start to get all that in and uh, we can see how it goes. Yeah, yeah. so we can't finish uh, the walls in the saloon because the wood is running late. Uh, yeah, it's a two-week delay on the uh, oak veneer. So um, we won't be able to actually finish the saloon this week, uh, but we will in a couple of But weeks time. then, after putting the ceiling in the pilot house, we're going to go to the back cabin and yes. uh, we have two weeks to start finish. and finish yeah. the back cabin. Absolutely. It's all there, it's all it's going. Okay. It's all happening before <laughs> Christmas. 1884. So we are now cutting the side panel that goes on uh, this side of the tower in the kitchen. Uh, it's very stressful because we need to be careful not to cut more than we should, otherwise, we end up with a uh, ruined panel, isn't it? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. So it's a bit stressful because the boat is not straight at all. No. It curves in the middle, so it's complicated, isn't it? Absolutely. One of the problems we have is that uh, the boat isn't exactly level. It's uh, slightly in this direction. And so consequently, when we mark anything or make it do anything, we have to make it not level. So for example here, has to be about the same position for it to be level. <laughs> it's crazy really, but it's just one of those things. This So that's the bottom, and this is the front. It's always quite worrying the very first time when you want to make a hole in the hull, uh, trying to get it right. And my calculations is the washing machine and the sink need to come out around about where this line is here. So I'm going to go underneath it, but I don't actually know where the uh, water level is going to come up to. I'm kind of thinking it's going to be around about here, um, just above this chine in the hull. But uh, we'll have to see what happens, I'm not sure. Here we go. Did 
just here. Okay, that's where I was aiming for, but that would have been on that uh, strip. So I'll cut this button away here and uh, put it in there. That's fine. Okay, that's as uh, far as we can go here because uh, it's going to fit in there but because of the uh, chamfers on here I'm going to have to take it for the, tackle it from the inside. Meantime, over in the workshops at Stanley and Thomas, Carla is giving the push pit a final coat of two-pack paint in the boat's cream. This is a traditional Thames slipper launch and probably dates back to the middle of the last century. A sitting area here uh, in the Bimini. The Bimini is ordered, uh, he's making it and should be installed in the next month or so. Uh, so it's going to be a very, very nice uh, outside area to stay here. kitchen fitter than in four. <laughs> okay. okay. Oh, you put the rail on there. How you didn't put those fat ones? Remember uh, yeah, where they go from the on here on the rail. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. It's so cold, so cold, and frozen. Kern is always cold. Always cold. The doors are going in and the yep. uh, handles. Yeah, we've got three, uh, four units in already. We've got yep. the corner unit in, we've got the larder unit, the cupboard up there, and three units here. This is where the sink goes, and this is where the uh, uh, hob goes, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So we're doing very well. Yes, we are. So now Simon is going to show you his special way of put the handle in. Okay, little trick here. <laughs> he likes his tricks. 
So what I've done is I've made up a little template so the holes in the piece of timber match up with the uh, holes in here. And then all I have to do is to line this up in exactly the right place and I don't have to measure it like so. Say something that it. will make my day Cause these memories of her won't go away So I can't sleep She was a pretty little liar who cut me deep Cause she left me here alone Now my bed feels just like a ghost oh. Why did she go? Supposed to know that she'd leave Was I the naive to think that she'd be the one Whoa. And they all line up perfectly! On the other side of the boat, life gets a little more complicated where the lithium battery bank is going to go. We have in the front cabin the lap stand here and then the floor and then put the units in on top and maybe we make these units as high. How about the power sockets? What are we going to do about the power sockets? I don't know what to do about the power sockets. Well, the power socket will be here, in the middle. So we'll do the same as we're doing there, to go underneath. Well, if those underneath, it can't be in the same height. Then. These won't, these will be lower. The middle ones will be lower, mm -hmm. if we can get the fridge in the fridge. So the oven didn't go through the door, just for an inch. And now uh, they're gonna try to get a lift um, through the doghouse. This is all getting exciting. So it won't go through the pilot house door or down a companion way. So uh, Charlie and I have got it up on the roof. I think he's going to go and get a telehandler and uh, put some chain around it or something and then drop it in through the hatch. Good job we have that, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is really. Yeah. I just, I just don't want uh, anything to touch the sideboard. The whites. Yeah? The whites. The whites. Careful, Careful mind of the, the whites. whites. we do is we mark here don't we so we know where to put the gunk uh -huh. uh, we'll get this one up and then it'll be coffee time 
on the pilot house is starting to go in. Exciting, isn't it? We've had a really frustrating hour yeah. where we've been trying to find some yellow buck crimps and we can't find them and yet we know we bought them. And then we couldn't find the starboard side navigation light to be able to work out where to put the cable through. <laughs> and it's just like, ugh, yeah. so frustrating. That's where you lose hours, hours. sometimes. Yeah. Doing nothing is really frustrating really frustrating and now we have this insulation on our feet the leg is starting to get yellow oh there we go So this week was a bit challenge, wasn't it? It was a really good, it, it, it's been very frustrating. Very, very, very frustrating because yeah. we allocated one week to do the kitchen and it's taking longer because yeah. the boat is not square. The, every every time you go to try and do something, you've got to uh, sort of kind of like wriggle it around and uh, nothing is straight, nothing's vertical or horizontal, the boat isn't sitting horizontal. We also had to put in a couple of skin fittings because we wouldn't be able to get them data so that was another sort of little epic job that yeah, we had to do. Yeah, because it's not easy to do that. No, it's not easy. Then we lost some parts of the kitchen and uh, it was only when we found Max at uh, Wix and he said oh it's in a box called this that we managed to find them yeah. uh, but we must have spent an hour searching for those and so it's all been a little bit challenging and a little bit difficult all week uh, and so I think really we, we've done less than we'd hoped. Yeah, yeah. We, did. we did. Definitely we did. We did. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's very frustrating when you try to look for something and you can't find it. Yeah. Uh, the boat is a mess at the moment because yeah. it's boxes everywhere. everywhere. When the kitchen arrived, it was boxes everywhere. Yeah. And then it's hard to find. We had a yeah. list of the codes and the codes were on the packages, yeah. but yeah. you don't know exactly no. how they it, it, it was very difficult. So but on the positive side, uh, we have got quite a lot of the kitchen in here. Yeah. Uh, we've got a cupboard here. Uh, that is where the sink is going. Uh, then there's another cupboard here. There's a set of drawers here, and then there's going to be a two burner hobber on this section. And uh, this panel over here is going to get covered in uh, stainless steel to protect it. And then we've got a cooling unit over there. Uh, we've got a tower unit here. This is the oven. Uh, it's a double oven. Uh, runs on propane. And uh, in the end, the dishwasher is going in there. Yes, which was never we, the plan. which was never the plan. The plan was no. to go here. So it's a washing machine, top of Yeah, washing machine, yeah. top yeah. 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 It was going to go over here, but, but uh, we, we wouldn't problems. be able to fit it because yeah. of all the pipes and various things over there. So the washing machine, top of is going in there, and then there's a cupboard up there. Yeah. Now, one of the other interesting things we've done is over in this corner, yeah. where we've actually used some kitchen units, and uh, we started to fit our battery bank. And uh, we've actually used two um, 60 centimeter, 600 mil cabinets. Uh, we've cut the back off them, made them smaller. Uh, we've cut a hole through the, uh, the, the middle of them. And um, we've actually got the lithium bank there now in place. And it looks absolutely awesome, I have to say. It looks fantastic. And uh, in this cabinet as well will be the inverter. Uh, there'll be the MPPTs for the uh, three solar panels, three of those. There'll be um, the uh, galvanized, galvic uh, transformer uh, that when you have the shore power connected, uh, it's an isolation between the boat and there. And there'll be the battery monitor and a few other bits and pieces in there. So that's going to be really the uh, most fascinating cabinet. <laughs> and the other thing we couldn't do because we didn't have them was the 
fridge and the freezer. Yeah. So the fridge and freezer go over here. We bought the fridge and freezer now. Yep. Uh, they will deliver on Tuesday. Tuesday. So uh, not to be behind on, in the saloon. So we started to do the ceiling in the pilot house, yeah. which is going very well, isn't it? It's going very well. Uh, we're up to halfway, but we're going to leave it there to let all the glue and everything set. Yeah, set. Uh, because it's, uh, until the glue set, it's a little bit... Um, yeah, because that insulation we are using, it expands mm -hmm. uh, and then makes pressure down. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the problems we are having yeah. there, but uh, it's going well. It's not going too badly. We did a few other small jobs, uh, yes. some painting, yeah. and uh, yeah. we put the rail on the back. Oh yeah, the rail uh, is on the back. Yeah, yes. which is fantastic. Yeah, that's tremendous. Uh, we need to get steps organised uh, for that little bit. So uh, yeah, frustrating week. Uh, we didn't achieve anywhere near as much as we wanted to, mm. but also it's been very cold. And to be honest, we haven't been working uh, six hours a day. No, been... It's been it's very difficult to work with the cold. I get my hands, you know, yeah. are frozen, my feet are frozen, so it's uh, more difficult to do things. And I've got a very nasty cut on my finger, uh, so that's why I'm wearing a dirty pair of gloves. <laughs> <laughs> Which is not good for infection. No.